Okay, so we'll show you how to set up the IC9700 uh, radio from ICOM with WSJT. Now, uh, Richard's ICOM is uh, already set up, so most of the settings are already uh, done in the menus. So the first thing that we do is you'll notice that we're in USB-D mode. To get it into USB-D mode, which stands for data, simply tap on the USB-D icon and you'll see the different modes that appear. Now, by pressing the data function, that will select between regular USB mode, which it is now, or data mode. So for WSJT, we want to use the USB-D mode. So that's the first step. The second step is to press on the menu button and you'll notice uh, various menus that we've got there and just tap on the set button and this will bring us into the set menu. Clicking on connectors to set up our radio, the, if we scroll to the top, uh, you'll see that generally your radio will be on this menu here which uh, starts off with external preamp, external speaker, separate phones, all these sort of things which are not really relevant to what we want. So scroll down in the list and we've got USB AF IF output. Tap on that. Now generally this should be set to 50% uh, AF output level. Uh, I don't think that this has uh, an awful lot of bearing with the software because you can still adjust it in the software, but by default it should be set as 50%. So if we go back and then go down to modulation input, and you'll notice there we've got our different modulation inputs all set at around about 50%. Uh, they can all be left as uh, default. Now data off mod stands for data off modulation. Now that means when you are in the regular USB mode, what connector your audio is going to be coming in on. If we tap on that, we've got lots of various different options that we can select. At the moment it's set that our audio will come in on our microphone or our accessory socket. As we usually use a microphone on just regular USB, we can leave that uh, as default and that won't affect our uh, digital setup in WSJT. If we scroll down though in the list, we'll see data modulation. That is set as microphone USB by default. The problem with doing this is that if we set it as mic USB, while WSJT is transmitting, it will also pick up audio coming from your microphone in the shack. So we want to make sure that this only comes from the USB. So scroll up and tap on USB. Once that's done, click back. And we can scroll down in the menus, in the connectors menus again. The next thing to check is the CIV tab. Now you'll notice that the CIV board rate is set to 19200. This should be done uh, as default uh, as 9600. However, any board rate can be selected in here as long as it matches what is in WSJT. The CIV address is A2H, that can be left as default. CIV transceive is on in this particular installation. I'm not sure what it is by default, but that can be set to on if it isn't already. If we scroll down in the list, we've got our CIV USB port. This is currently set selected as unlink from remote. Generally, this can be left as unlinked from remote unless you're using the RSBA1 software. However, uh, to see more information on that, I'll put a link up in the cards to setting that particular setting for RSBA1. CIV USB board rate also uh, set as 19200 as, as we had before. Uh, USB echo back on and our data board rate, which is the non-USB data board rate is set as 19200, which we don't need to worry about. If we scroll down, the only other option is the CIV data echo back, which uh, is not applicable as we're using a USB cable to connect to our transceiver. And scroll down, and I think that, that is the last of the settings to get your 9700 up and running on WSJT. So the next thing we'll do is have a look at the software of WSJT and what needs to be set up there. Okay, now we move over to WSJTX and the first thing to do is to go to File and then Settings. Settings is open, click on the Radio tab and you'll notice that we've got a drop down list of rigs. Select the IC9700 from the list. Now the serial port uh, for this particular rig that is plugged in is 
been assigned as COM port 37, which is quite high uh, because Richard has uh, quite a few devices connected to this computer. To find out which COM port it is, simply open up Device Manager and open up the ports COM and LPT uh, menu. Scrolling down, you can see that there is a Silicon Labs CP210X USB to UART bridge which is got assigned COM36 and COM37. Usually it is the higher COM port number that you will require, so try that first. The reason why there's other COM ports here is, is uh, as I said, Richard's got other radios connected. So once that COM port has been selected, select the board rate, which again is, was in the radios menu, uh, set as 19200. Data bits default, stop bits default, hard handshake none. PTT method should be set as cat mode as data slash packet because we're running in the USB dash D mode and split operation as none. So the first thing you can do is go ahead and click the test cat button. Now it lights up in green which indicates that it has successful communication with the radio. If this doesn't work try changing your serial port here to another COM port uh, perhaps the one lower and see if that fixes that problem for you but this should always light up in green to indicate successful uh, communication with the radio. You can go ahead and click test PTT that will light up in red and the radio will transmit as well. Heading into audio make sure that the microphone and speakers is set as the USB audio codec on both of these. Uh, sometimes this will automatically default to the default sound card but change it to the USB audio codec which is generated when you plug in the radio and install the driver. In WSJT you can go ahead and click the tune button and this will cause the radio to transmit. You'll also notice that there is a power slider on the right hand side which allows you to adjust the audio level which goes into the radio, so the transmit audio level. The best thing to do is, is you'll notice the ALC meter is about mid-range. Just reduce that until it barely shows on the meter and that is the ideal spot for your power level to be set at. On the left hand side you'll notice that there is a green bar graph which is currently set about 30 dB. Adjust the microphone input on the USB audio codec so that this is about mid-range on this level. Yep so that's how you set up the IC9700 for WSJT in digital mode so thank you Richard for allowing us into your shack today and nice. showing you how to set this up. I uh, hope that video helps uh, if you if it did, make sure that you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and uh, till next time, smash the like button. What am I? Twenty years old? I bet it's gonna do that. Camera's still rolling, so you know all of this yeah. is gonna make it in as well.